What I am very amazed about Cuba is we never run out of activities to do every weekend. So today is Saturday and Cuba and I went to his sister's house to help them building the pavements on the floor. As we mentioned last time guys that there was an inspector came into their house to check the sizes of pavements of the house since it is mandatory in the Czech Republic that they should have just at least limited limited area of their pavements so during those time they were putting out the pavements for the inspector and then they decided to change it for a new one so Cuba and I are here to help them building it so we started earlier at 10 a.m and actually i did not take more videos about the building at first but we have already been starting a lot and i think we've already finished but i'm so sorry because i wouldn't able to really help them because the cement is quite heavy for me so for now i'm just Helping them looking <laughs> and just helping something that I can do here. And here, Kuba's trying to make the the ground plain. As he said, it's always like that. that we have to make it plain. And actually, it's my first time as well seeing it here, how it is being made. And I'm really amazed and interested in even tell them and even telling him that I'd like to have this kind of pavement too once we are in the philippines and we would like i would like to have this in our front yard it's quite interesting for me and so i have it here this area and kuba's siblings are here building it we have already finished so much today actually a baby here with me and I'm trying to I'm trying to entertain her and not make her cry right you want to drink your milk you need help baby you can do it you need to, you need to. Come on. You do. Yeah. Not to her. <laughs> but she is Hi. making video to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? So since I don't have anything to do or I can't help them, it's because the bricks are heavy for me so I decided I'm gonna take Jacob's niece for a walk since Jacob's sister is also working and she has a baby so I decided I'm gonna help them by taking care of the baby and I know that I am good at taking care babies so she was crying earlier because she wanted her mommy so I'm having a walk with her now and so happy that she's not crying. She's enjoying the walk. And if you notice guys that I'm wearing this sweatshirt, 
it's because the temperature nowadays in the Philippines oh the temperature nowadays here in Czechia it's getting lower and it's quite cold earlier and so I have this clothes with me you know, always very cold but right now it's 20 degrees it's getting warmer so I guess I have to take it off but it's still okay the area where Jacob's sister chose to live is really good I noticed like for me it's a very nice place one time I asked Kuba that why there are a lot of cottages here and houses are not that big and why not his sister is not allowed to make their house bigger because the reason why this area is only for gardening and it's not a family it's not a place for a family house that's why there is only a limited area where they can only build a house and that's also the reason why a lot of cottages here it's because the land is the land is only for gardening pat your legs this area is very nice honestly and it's been two years that I've been living here in Czechia and since the two years I've been um, go I've been visiting Jacob's sister's house too and it's my first time having a tour all around the village and it's a really nice place I love it it's very quiet also I noticed that people mostly they are very busy by gardening as Kuba said that some people are buying areas in Czechia for example maybe they're living in a flat in a city in the city and decided to buy a place like this here a gardening place and they're buying an area for gardening and making a cottage and they're gonna spend their weekends in their garden and that's what I can really see here during weekdays it's quite quite it's very quiet here but during weekends it's a lot of people everywhere Dubri are you okay are you good yes ah, you're smiling so you're happy happy you want to drink your milk here Ne? You wanna borrow the, the camera? Just the camera? Oh. Yes? Say yes. Say yes. I have your milk with you. Yeah. yeah, here. Are you thirsty? You can drink it, okay? I'm having a rest here under the shadow. <laughs> I've been, I think, walking for 30 minutes already, right? You're still not sleepy. You're still not sleepy? No? No, she's just nah, nodding. You're not sleepy. You can sleep, okay? It's fine. Ay. Ay? You wanna borrow the camera? You wanna do vlogging too? Nah? <laughs> I'm happy that she's happy. She's not crying during the walk. Like, I'm trying my best to make her not cry because they still have a lot of job to do there or a lot, a lot of things to finish and hopefully once we go back to his sister's house, the work is already finished. So you can be with your mommy after, okay? It's already crying. The owner must be rich. Very huge house and very nice gate. Here. What I love really looking at here guys is the cottages and how it looks like. I really love houses that are made out of woods. Like concrete and woods at the same time. It looks very nice for me and I dream to have that. Once we are in the Philippines, we are gonna combine our house with woods and concrete. 
we talked to Kuba regarding with that and how we will be able to like make some designs and hopefully it will be possible since woods in the Philippines Almost done. How was it good? Uh, Satisfying? Hello guys, I am here as well for this video. During the time when I was vlogging, I was absolutely not in the mood because of that hexagonal paving. Like, I don't know who invented this kind of bricks or paving, whatever it's called, but I hate you for that because putting it into the correct order, how it should be, that's kind of stressing. Why? Why you just cannot make it square and you are not having headaches, but that was the thing it really made me upset, especially the pavement was already built before we had to remove it because of the inspectors and then putting it back. And anytime you are putting it back, it will never look that perfect like first time. If we would want it to make it look like perfectly, perfectly straight without any like up and downs, we would have to really remove all that gravels outside, put the freshly new, like scrape it just like I did with that <clears throat> wooden deck and then place it in the order again. But it was finished, it looks better than just those gravels and we are all happy with our work today you can be excited for more videos of constructions as gwen said it's gonna be me who will build her pavement in the her house in the philippines so stay tuned for more if you like this video guys do not hesitate to check our channel there is much more videos hit the like and subscribe button because it's a huge support for us and see you in the next videos